What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Dan here. I'd like to welcome you guys back to my Let's Play of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic Female Grey Jedi Edition. Hope you guys are enjoying this Let's Play so far, and if you are, be sure to hit that like button. It helps out a lot. Without any further ado, let's get into the video. So here's the thing. We can either leave the uniforms on or take them off right away. Because the Sith armor gives you good dexterity, but a low defense bonus, whereas this gives you better armor. My defense... My dexterity's fine. That's why I'm leaving it. Uh, Karth, I'm actually going to... I'm gonna put, I know it gives him more armor, but we don't want him to be what? confused. What? I'm oh, sorry, back to another one. Bath we focus on the strongest. I was sleeping on D. We'll teach you who's stronger. Bam! <laughs> I love this guy just comes in and stabs the guy with the, with the blade. Uh, uh, Chuck a nade and call it a day. Bye. I missed. Let's go. Watch my health, yeah? Oh, he's criticalate. That was the easiest money. Good. Good. That's how we get into the Undercity, right? Oh, it's a Volcar guard. Oh, sorry. I'm here. I'm here. Shall we take them out? Let's take them out. Throw it. Bye. Oh, shit. Go, go with this guy. Go with the Criticale. Criticale. Come on, girl. Oh shit, med pack. That's it, come on, girl, I'm watching. Hit him! Where's he running? Where are you running, pump? Good job, Karth O'Malley. So we can go into the Volcar base, but we're not supposed to yet. So I just figured I'd get some. I figured I'd just get some uh, some goodies while we're here, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's this way? The standard door. I don't remember where this goes. Oh, this goes into the lower city apartment, so I'm not going to go there just yet. And we're just going to kind of see how things go. We're going to go to the lower city apartments. Cause I know there's like a thing in here where we can actually get some goodies based on. Done. Hey, you can't come here. This is a private apartment. What are you doing in here? This place looks abandoned. Neighbors, you know, turn around, and get back the way you came. You know it's good for you. Are you in the slum search hall? Do you want to talk about it? I guess I can tell you. You'll probably find it on your own eventually. Anyway, Zax is giving his bounties away like candy, or so I hear. My name is Matrik. I used to work for the exchange, but all the violence and killing started to get to me. I knew what I was doing was wrong, so I turned state's evidence. My testimony helped put some of the biggest criminals on terrorist life away for life. But Davik didn't like seeing his friends go down, so now he's got a bounty on my head. Maybe there's some way I could help you out of this mess. I don't think there's much anyone could do, and I'm getting sick of running. I've decided to make my stand right here. I mean, you can fake your own death. I already thought of that. I've been coming with a plan on how to do it, but I can't pull it off while I'm holed up in here. Tell me your plan. I might help you out. The trick is getting Davik to buy it when there's no body found at the scene. Looks like I died in a massive explosion. You won't be suspicious when my corpse never turns up. If I had an accomplice to go back to tell Davik that they were the one to set out the explosion, I think I'd be home free. I have some dem demolitions experience from my own days in the exchange so I can set it up, but I need to get my hands a permacree detonator. I could get that for you. But Upper City might carry them. So I think what I might do, actually. He's got nothing. Oh, he does have this. I know who's got them. So I'm actually going to make the trip right now. I'm going to cut back. And when we come back, I'll have the Permacrete stuff. And we'll be good to go. All right, we're back at the uh, Kebla Yurt's Emporium. 
Welcome to the equipment import. Um, I want to see. I want to get that permacrete. I know she's got it. Doesn't she? Yeah, it's at the bottom. It's only 50, so we'll buy it. Is there anything else I want to buy while I'm here? No, these are too expensive. Thank you. All right, let's get back to what's his name and help face it. F fake his death. Oh, I missed these. Forgot about the remains because I got knocked on my ass. I suppose I could sell some of these vibro blades, make some cash. I'm gonna do that real fast. Welcome to anything. I oh, I'm sorry. Uh, shit. Good. Sorry. One second. Welcome. Um, so we got for sale. Sell. I'm gonna sell. Wow. They don't even. She won't even take it. I don't ever use this. So I'm gonna sell that. Long sword's not worth much. I'm gonna sell a couple vibro blades. Those aren't worth anything. No point. Those are worth selling because I never used them. Blaster rifle, I'll sell two. And yeah, we're good. 741 creds. That's pretty good, but we gotta get more. All right, let's complete this dude's plan. It's ready when you come back. Did you manage to find a permacrete? I've got a permacrete, but it'll cost you. I don't have any credits. All I've got is close my back. But if you help me with this, you go to Zach's and the bounty office claim the price on my head. All right. Go take it. Yes, it should do the trick. There won't be anything left of this apartment but some scorching on the walls after I set this bad boy off. I love how he sets it while we're in here, you know? Like, he doesn't... He's just like, okay, go, 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 go! Comes back to tell me. Uh, yep, gotta line you up first. Hold on, do it a couple laps. Let's go! <laughs> Let's get out of here before it blows! Accurate footage of what happens when you play my mixtape. Everything is too hot to handle. It's quite the blast. Don't go back in there. The whole roof might cave in on your head. Look, like, I'm not a man for long goodbyes, but I want to say thanks. If it wasn't for you, I'd be a dead man. But now I won't have to worry about any more bounty hunters coming after me. So good luck and goodbye. Now that I'm dead, I can't be seen wandering these streets. All right, peace. That was some light side action. See, what's my situation right now? I'm still neutral. I got to do some dark side stuff to bring the... Like, I don't want to do dick things. I'm trying to remain neutral, but sometimes you're given only a choice. You know what I'm saying? Chuck a couple nades, I think. Oh, wait, we didn't need to do that. I didn't think that would get him. That was savage. This is Black Volcar, so if you'll pay for this. I don't think I will, fam. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do, but whatever, we'll take it down. Oh, this is where we get some goodies. This is where we get some decent armor. Scar, take him down. Never mind, I'll take him down. Because apparently, Karth, you're useless. All right, now I do recall this. We have to, I, I remember this. Twisted Rancor Trio, we got to read it. All right, let's go check. Okay, I'm gonna, I remember it. Hold on, let's go to data, right? Notes. Where is it? It's under this, isn't it? Where is it under? Oh, I gotta level up. Let's level up. Attributes. What does it recommend? Constitution, huh? You know, I'm okay with that. Let's do constitution. Skills. What's it recommend? Computer use and demolitions. What's it currently sitting at? Oh, it was at one. Wanted me to put it all there. Let's persuade boost. Treat injury. Demolitions and awareness. Kind of round it up a little bit, you know? So we can go two weapon fighting too, but we don't have that yet. So I'm actually going to upgrade my critical strike too. Before we get that word, we still have that single hilt. So it doesn't really make sense at the moment. Anyways, we got to activate the right colors. Where the hell are the notes? I can't remember where they are. It's here, right? So, uh, not all items. Show new items. Show quest items. There you go. Twisted Rancor Trio. Can I read it? So you have to read this, and you have to get the names down. Found of the two to earn a date with a young singer named Alinda. So you want to say Alinda. 
I remember I used to do this. I used to write down, because you have to just put the order. You'd think I'd remember it now, but I don't. Sorry, I don't. Oh, shit. Hold on. Okay, Alinda. Then. Uh, remember, okay. Giltho scrambled. Bith named Uja. Uja. Let's see. Soon after that, he signed Uja's brother, Uji. And then, complete the trio. The band struggled at first. Linda was a fantastic. Ujo wasn't that much of a musician. Threatened to quit. Fired Ujo and hired Lupa. That good old guy, Lupa. And Uji quit. Fortunately, Lupa knew another photo. And then eventually, they got rid of the singer. So they had, they had a good lineup. Quite popular. Davik asked Gilthos to bring his group. Fortunately, Linda heard... Rumors, uh, okay. And this connection, fearing for her life. So they got some other girl, right? Ashana. I think that's the last number. Right? Dire consequences. Right, okay, so let's do it. So, now that we have that, we gotta light them up in the right order. So we gotta find a Linda first. There she is. Light her up. Alinda, then Uja. Uja's next. I think I walked past his ass. No, oh, here's Uja. Show it. Show it. It's a lot harder to do on PC. There you go. Uja, then Uji, right? Which one's Uji? That's photo. This is Uji, I think. Yep, Uji here. And then we have Lupa, which is the first one on the on the left. Loopy. Loopy McLooperson. Then it was Photo, which is this one. Oh, come on, highlight it, you bastard. Come on! Photo, and then Ashana. It's having a hard time igniting it. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get it. Come on! Thank you. Now it's open. Money. And you actually get some some pretty good armor from what I remember. Something of the sort. Yeah, shiny fiber armor. So I'm going to take that. We're going to put it on myself. Because it's upgradable. So it basically gives us an extra, and then Karth can rep the, uh, the combat suit. Like a boss. Good. So yeah, this is upgradable. When we come across a, uh... When we come across a, whatchamacallit... Uh, workbench, we'll be able to upgrade it. I don't know if I have any mods available at the moment, but... I love how there's still some randos. Go. Do work. Criticale. Criticale. Sometimes attacking works better. Oh, he dead. We're good. We're actually really low on health, so I'm gonna inject. Good. I remember there's actually... Oh, we're good. Well, there's a lot of these people. Gang wars getting out of hand. The bulkers aren't just attacking. I don't remember there being a whole group of guys like that. Oh, he got kicked in the face. Come on, Karth. Karth, you have to go point blank. I mean, I'll take it. You don't gotta go point blank, bro. Dum, 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 dum. Okay, let's keep it going. I think we can actually use this droid. That basically will send it. It gives us good experience, but we just wasted a ton of... I don't know if I should have done that. I don't know if it was worth it. Oh. At least my droid will come with me. And repair parts are pretty easy to come across. So I might I might buy some from a vendor, too. 
I think that was a big waste of time, though. I shouldn't have done that. Crap. Keep my repair parts. You know what? It was, we got good experience. I'm going to keep it for now. I think the max level, though, is 200 experience. Oh, let's keep going. There's also a cantina down here as well. And I think that's where the guy who does the... Um... Well, there's a lot of citizens down here. Way more. The swoop race coming up will show those Volkers who's in charge here. Hi. I think this is where we can return some of the uh, bounties. Hey. Hi there. Not too many of you come, come here to speak to me anymore. Most prefer the fancy surroundings of the Upper City Cantina. But nobody there carries the kinds of bizarre cards I sell. Are you interested in purchasing individual cards? Who are you? My name is Uri. I'm the man to see if you want to get an edge over your competitors in Grand Old Game. Follow me? Talk about Bazak, you know, high stakes gambling. Each player brings their own deck to a Bazak match. The better cards you are, the better chance of winning. What do you say? Are you interested? Let me see. Now, these are expensive. Tell me about Davik. I'm not stupid enough to start bad mouthing Davik Kang in this place. Not with Zach so nearby. Go to the Mountain Office Stock if you want to get the scoop on Davik. One general information. Don't know what I can really tell you. There's a gang war between the Hidden Backs and the Black Vault cars, but everybody knows about that. Tell me about the Hidden Backs. The Backs are run by a man named Gadden Thek. They used to run things here in the Lower City, and life wasn't too bad. But now the Vault cars are trying to move in. Tell me about the Vault cars. Vault cars are led by Brezhik. He's tough and ruthless and maybe even a little insane. He's also determined to take control of the entire Lower City away from the Hidden Backs. When the Hidden Backs ran things, people could walk the Lower City streets in safety. But now the Black Volkers attack people on sight. Watch out for them. Do you know anything about those Republic escape pods? Undercity? You don't want to be going down there. The place is crawling with rack pools. Do yourself a fa favor and forget about those escape pods. Besides, there's probably nothing left of those pods anyway. The Hidden Backs and Black Volkers would have stripped anything valuable from them within hours of, cr of the crash. All right. That's it. Bye bye. Thanks for the intel. Gelrud. Greetings, stranger. My name is Gelrud. Are you a Pazak player by chance? It's so hard for me to find a match now that I've been banned from the Upper City Cantina. Why were you banned? A simple misunderstanding. Some of the other Pazak players don't understand the finer points of the game. So, what if I win 15 matches in a row? That doesn't mean I cheat. There's no justice. My lucky Bazak deck was confiscated and I was banned from the upper cantina. Since then, I've been desperate to find a match. Um, ask some if questions. If you want to ask questions, go talk to Zax in the bounty office. He knows everything that's happening on Taurus. I'm just here to play Bazak. So do you want to play or not? No. If you're ever looking for a match and you get tired of posturing in the upper cantina, just come down here and find me. I'll play you anytime. All right, cool, thanks. Ah, oh, Callum Nord. Go away. Oh, sorry, I, ain't talk I was not, I was dreaming. So say hi to Big Bad Valley Bounty Hunter Callum Nord. Now nah, this can't be Callum Nord, it's supposed to stop this guy's nothing but a runt. Not a good thing to say, bro. One. One, what that mean? Be funny, tough guy? You know, we are Cal, we're members of the Black Ball Car Gang. You don't want to be getting funny with us, tough guy. Two. Oh, mean, oh, sorry. Three against one, Cal, what do you think about those odds? Well, something more to say? Three. Oh! 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 Well, that happened. Don't bother talking to him, he's just a dick. Like, quite literally, he's a dad. Well, no, he's not literally a dick, but you know what I mean. He'll just, like, threaten you again. Oh, here's Holden, the guy who's got huh? Dia's bounty. What? Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. My attention was kind of focused on the Twi'lek dancers. Look at them waggle those head tails. Don't worry, honey. Alien girls aren't really my thing. I'm much more interested in an attractive female of my own species. Who are you? My name's Holden, baby. Maybe you've heard of me. I work for Davik Kang, you know? You work for Davik? I'm one of his top couriers. Davik's always sending me off planet to deliver and bring back packages. 
He knows he can trust me to follow my orders to the letter. Plus, I used to be an intergalactic customs agent, so I know all the tricks they use to catch smugglers. That gives me the edge I need on my courier runs. You're pretty open about what you do. It's not like it's some big secret. It's kind of hard for Davik to keep a low profile when he belongs to a big intergalactic crime syndicate like the Exchange. Do you think Davik can get me off Terrace? Davik's ship is the fastest one in the entire quadrant. But even the Ebonhawk can't get off Taurus until the quarantine is lifted. The Sith fleet has the planet surrounded. Any ship leaving orbit without proper access codes will be disintegrated by the Sith auto-targeting laser cannons. And those codes are locked safely away in the military base. Davik's pretty upset about it. His smuggling operation isn't making any money. But even with his underworld connections, he can't get his hands on those codes. You're the guy who put the bounty on Diaz head, right? hear about that? I guess Zax must have mentioned me to you at the bounty office. Fair enough. I don't care who takes her out. Just so long as the job gets done, I can't let her get away with what she did. That witch tried to cut me with her vibro blade. Why would she do that? Because she's crazy. She started screaming that I was making advances, and the next thing I know, she's coming at me with a knife. Yeah, right. Sounds to me like she was defending herself. I admit I was drunk. Maybe I got a little fresh. But it was no big deal. She didn't have to cut me. Sounds like you got what you deserved. Hey, you weren't there. She totally overreacted. I want it on I want it removed. I can't do that. Think how it would look. I work for Davik. I've got a certain reputation to uphold. I can't let her get away with this. There has to be payback. Although. I do feel a little guilty about all this. Dia's a good-looking gal. It'd be a shame to kill her. Tell you what, I'll take 200 credits in exchange for lifting the bounty. I don't wanna, I wanna be kinda douchey here. If you hire someone to kill Dia, it'll look like you weren't mad enough to do it yourself. Take that bounty off Dia's head or you're a dead man. You're threatening me? I work for Davin Kang. If you kill me, you'll be signing your own death warrant. Do us both a favor and don't waste my time with stupid threats. Damn. If Try that. I let her get away with it. Your th Damn. Let's keep trying. If I your if if I your if I your you're threatening. If I let Talk to her. Do that if you want, but I doubt she's got 200 credit. Hate to see a pretty lady leaving, but you ain't the only girl in this. Damn it, man! It's I, I don't have a high enough persuade. I'll see if I can get it and come back. You know what I mean? I told you to leave me alone. So give me some space, bug eye. Your breath smells like bantha poodoo. Little girl should not be in bars. There's no place for little girl. If little girl's smart, she run away home now. Who you call a little girl, tuba face? Little girl needs less than her manners. Just a sec, boys. Zalbar, a little help here? I need you to rip the legs off some insects. Mission, I'm busy. They just brought my food. Quit complaining. You can finish eating later. Besides, you need the exercise, so get over here. We want no trouble with Wookie, our problem with you, little girl. You got a problem with me? Then you got a problem with Big Z. So unless you want to take on my furry friend, I suggest you greenies hop on out of here. Little girl lucky she had big friend. Why are you bothering me? Relax, Big Z. No need to be rude. Sorry about that. But Wookiees ain't much for conversation, you know? Right. Before I go speak to her, I'm gonna go in here. This guy is just like, seriously, he's just a drop. What do you want, human? You come here to stare at others like Terrace? You think we're strange? I'll ask you some questions. What kind of questions? What planet are you from? You couldn't say it, you don't have the ears for it. Two voices create the name, and four ears hear, hear the true sound. But your kind would call our home Sorgis, a small world far off per Perlemian trade route. What kind of creature are you? In your one voice song, we call our kind Power Dwag. 
Can you tell me about your home world? Talking about our home only makes the, this quarantine much more difficult to bear. Forgive us, human, but we do not wish to be reminded of it. I notice your other head doesn't say much. Nothing that you would hear, at least. We know about Terrace. Nothing. We are only here stop stopping here to get supplies on the Sith attacked. They imposed the quarantine on all ships that had landed on Terrace. Now we are stuck here on a world that hates non-humans. Not a good place to be. Alright, bye-bye. Good, leave us alone. We just want a quarantine so we can go back home. Shoot about. Let's talk to Mission. Say, I don't recognize you, and I know pretty much everyone in the lower city. You must be new down here. I guess that makes me and Big Z your official welcoming committee. That's weird. That's weird. Twilight can speak same speaks basic. It's not that strange. Most aliens can speak basic. They just prefer to use their own language. But I grew up here on Terra, so I just sort of got used to speaking the native tongue. You showed a lot of guts dealing with those Valkyrs, kid. You got a name? My name's Mission Veo, and this big Wookiee is my best friend Zalba. I'd offer to give you a tour, but the streets down here aren't safe. But if there's anything else you need... How do Wookiee and his Trillic Street Urchin end up as best friends? We just kind of fell in together. It ain't easy on your own here in the lower city. Everyone's always looking to push you around. So we noticed. Still, you seem like an odd pair. When I met up with Zalbar, it seemed like a pretty good match. I knew we could look out for each other. With my street smarts and his muscle, we make a great team. Wanna ask you some questions? Well, you came to the right person. If you want info on Lower Terrace, I'm the one to talk to. Davik, the Lower City Gangs. I even got the scoop on that bounty hunter, Kalo Nord. Um, tell me about Davik. Davik's part of the intergalactic crime scene, but I guess everyone knows that. But I hear he's got a new ship for his smuggling operation, the Ebon Hawk. I don't know much about space travel, but I hear that ship's fast enough to break the Sith blockade. Of course, this is all just secondhand rumor. Where would he keep it, do you know? If Davik does have a ship, he's got it locked up in his estate. Nobody gets in there, except the people working for Davik and the Exchange. Tell me about the Lower City Gangs. There's only two gangs worth worrying about here in the Lower City. The Black Volkers and the Hidden Becks. Sometimes Zalbar and I hang out at the Beck base. The Becks are led by Gadden Beck. He's a good guy. Lost his sight in a swoop bike accident a few years ago, but even blind, he's a great leader. Not like that traitor Brezhik. Before he took over the Volkers, he was a Hidden Beck. Gadden considered that ungrateful space slug his adopted son. Why did Brezhik leave the Bex? When Gadden went blind, everyone figured he'd step down and appoint Brezhik in his place. But Gadden figured Brezhik wasn't ready yet. He wanted him to wait a few years. But Brezhik was too impatient. He left to join the Volkers, and ever since, he's been waging a war to wipe Gadden and his Bex from the face of Terrace. This gang war in the Lower City is totally the Volkers' fault. They're the ones killing everything that moves out on the streets. It's like they've gone insane. Did I say about Davik already? No. Did I? Let me ask. Davik's... I don't know much... Where would he... Keep, if oh, yeah. Sorry. Kalinord. Kalinord's one of the most famous bounty hunters in the galaxy. He's killed more people than the Iridium Plague. I've seen him kill people just for trying to talk to him. He hangs around Zack's bounty office, but I don't think he's looking for work there. All the postings there are small time. Way beneath the bounty hunter of his caliber. I figure Kalo's been hired by Davik to do a special job for the exchange. I'd wager a thousand credits that as soon as the quarantine ends, he'll be getting off this rock. Uh, that's it. I'll be going. going. Yeah, this dive is pretty boring. No action around here. Come on, Big Z, let's go. <laughs> but I haven't finished eating. Can't you think about something besides your stomach for five minutes? Come on. We'll go see if there's anything good to eat at the Beck base. Poor guy. Just let him eat his food, bruv. Ah, uh, here we go. Oh, I remember this. We can do the dance. Let's do the dance. Do the dance. Do the dance. Saw, dude. He's here, magician, because I shot the big time. Camera screwing it up by talking to you. There's no way Bib's gonna hire me unless he has a chance to see me dance with the partner. Maybe I should give up. 
are you talking about? Turn look over there, Bip Sarul. He's the manager of Talent Scout at Starlight Entertainers. They're one of the biggest performing troops in the quadrant. When I heard he was stuck on Terrace, I figured this was my lucky break. If I can impress him, he might hire me as a dancer. I can finally get off this slime pit of a world. But I don't have a partner, and the Starlight Entertainers never perform solo. You can't judge how I dance with someone else. I'm sunk. Why, do you have a, why don't you have a partner? Last partner left me. She was always trying to upstage me. Even though it was obvious I had ten times her talent. When I finally told her that, she stormed off. I guess the truth hurts. Partner before that was even worse. If I wasn't tripping over his staggering feet, I was ducking under his flailing arms. I dished him after less than a week. I'll partner up with you for a price. Not a joke. I'm a professional entertainer. I want people to dance with me. Who says I'm looking for a partner anyway? I met him getting desperate. I hate the lowest audition, but I don't know if I'm ready to just pair up with a random passerby. I don't know if you're any good. I'm good enough to get you through your audition. Damn it. What other choice do you have? Come on. How hard can it be? Damn it. Oh, I got it. I've got a partner now. I'd really like to audition for you again. Kaylin, okay, you got one more chance. I'll give you a minute to get the partner set up. Okay, I've got time to watch you for three or more dances. Make them count. Just follow my lead. Remember, the more complicated our steps and the closer we, we dance, the more it'll press bib. Don't get in too close if you can't handle it. I don't need some clumsy oaf tripping over me. Dancing beside her. <laughs> it's better than the guy. So remember, so I don't want simple. Next dance is a little different. And that's a fist pump. Party up in here, party up in here, boom, boom. That's all it is. Dancing close beside her. It looks so stupid. Good, good. One, two, three. One, two, three. Nice tempo. Looking good, Lynn. Okay, one more dance. It looks happy. As long as you don't screw up, I think we got it. Follow me and keep it simple. Just like using the force on the ass. And then a fist pump. Ruined by taking a dive. Face to face. Dan just dance beside her. I found that works best. Look at that doing the force. Pump. I'm a little bit ahead. But I think this does the trick. You very good. Feel the music. Let it flow through you. What do you think? Do I get the job? Do you want me to dance some more? I can do another one if you want. Relax, Lenny you made. He got the job. Welcome to Star Wars Entertainers. Man, it really made it incredible. I don't believe it. Leave a kid, you're in. Now we need to get you lit fitted for your outfits. We need to start rehearsals. We've got contracts to sign. Let's go busy, busy. That's life of a star. Thank you. I couldn't have made it without you. I'll give you a big hug, but well, frankly, you're a little bit Wow, bitch. If you're trying the galaxy, see the Star Wars Entertainers performing. Stop and ask for Lynn. I'll see if you can get you some free tickets. What about my money? What about bitch? Better have my money. Pay me what you owe me. Sup, fam? Who are you? Oh, whatever. Alright, let's go collect a bounty on that one dude. I've not seen you here before, human. You're new to the bounty office. Yes, my name's Zax. I'm the one in charge. Are you looking for work? There are many bounties available, legal and otherwise, but they all quay well, pay well. Or are you here for information? Everyone knows I'm one of Davik's best agents. I'm the hut with all the answers. You work for Davik? Not officially, no. I work for the bounty office, but Davik pays me to keep eyes open and report to him. And for me to post his bounties. Davik post bounties in a government audit? Aug Wait. You don't try to hide the fact that Davik has you on his payroll? I used to have it to keep our relationship secret, but since the Sith arrived, no one cares what happens in the lower city. Davik can do whatever he wants. But enough talk. Back to business. This is a bounty office. So we should talk bounties, or are you looking for information? Tell me about the bounties. Two government contracts. One's an assassin named Selvin. Those is Bendix Starkiller. Famous Deathmatch Duelist. Between them, they've killed hundreds of people. I can't see anything wrong with getting rid of people like that. As long as we don't end up on the lesser but not all bounties are dangerous. Davik got some special contracts. Once for a girl named DS, she attacked Holden, one of Davik's men. Another's a man named Largo, who owes Davik money. Okay, I don't know about Davik's special contracts. Justice is one thing, but doing a crime lord's dirty work is something else. Word. And then there's Ma Ma Matrik. He used to work for Davik, but then he betrayed. I think that's the guy I killed. I want more details. Data panel ready, okay. Tell me about the assassin, Selvin. She's a very dangerous woman. When she started, she was just another killer working for Davik. Then she began freelancing to the highest bidder. One day, she killed six citizens in the street and their bodyguards, too. They were all Ogos, a powerful merchant family, and many enemies. Selvin was hired to kill off the whole family. She was very good at her job. Each day, more Ogos died, poisoned at home, shot down in the street. Guards and droids couldn't protect them. After a month, there were no Ogos left on Terrace, not one. 
They were finding out who hired someone to kill them all. It was never proven, but after the Elgos were all dead, the Organa family demanded the government put out a contract on Selvin. They said nobody was safe as long as the Selvin was free, still free. But the Organa family were powerful rivals of the Elgos. Some think they were the ones who hired Selvin, but they're trying to have bounty hunters kill her to keep the secret from coming out. But terrorist politics aren't your concern, you're just a bounty hunter. You kill Selvin, you get credits. It's the only important thing, right? I remember you do run across her. Other bounties. Bendek, we know about him. We'll, we will take him down when we do those. But he's a legend on Terrace. Started as a duelist in the Upper Cantina and never lost. He only fought death matches. He killed hundreds in his day. Then death matches got banned. Duel ring switched to non-lethal combat. But De Bendek wasn't ready to retire. He kept dueling on the illegal underground circuit and he kept killing people. Finally, the government had no choice but to put a bounty out on him. But Bendek's a big folk hero. So not too many try to collect. Those who all do wind up dead anyway. The bounties... This girl, Dia, she used to be a waitress in the cantina and had a fight with Holden. She cut him with a revival blade, almost killed him. That was a mistake. Holden works for Davik. He's got one to let... He's not one to let her get away with that. When he was recovering in the medi medical bay, he put a bounty out on Dia. She's been hiding ever since. I have feeling there's more to the story. It doesn't matter to me. I get the bounty from Davik's men. Don't ask questions. You can talk to Holden if you want to know more. Uh, other bounties. Merchant Largo. There's none of Davik's private bounties. He borrowed money from Davik for his business. But when things went bad, he wasn't able to pay Davik, so he ran. Davik doesn't like when people who owe him money run. He put out a contract on Largo to send a message to the other merchants who owe him money. Davik, okay. They sound more like contract killings. They don't play games, okay. Uh, one more details and met metric. Davik's very interested in this bounty. When he used to work for Davik, it wasn't important, but he was there a long time. He saw lots of things and was wise to keep him quiet about. Then one day he betrayed Davik. He went to the terrorist authorities and testified at trials against the exchange. And this is the guy who faked his death. Lots of people were arrested and Davik's operation shut down for a while. It cost Davik thousands and thousands of credits to get business back on track. Okay. But didn't the government protect Matrick after the trials? They hid Matrick for a while, but when the Sith took over, they shut the witness protection program down. It's expensive, and the Sith didn't care if Matrick died. Alright. I have a bounty. Tell him Matrick is dead. I believe you, human. I've heard reports of a rather large explosion, and some of the people saw you buying a permacrete detonator. It's good Matrick's dead, but maybe we went overboard, human. Next time, use a blaster, not a bomb. Bombs are messy. At least the job's done. Price I pay. I want 400. You're brave, human, to bargain with the hut, but I like you. Okay, 400 it is. You do good work, human. There's a lot of bounty hunters on Terrace, but most are lazy. Maybe if you keep cashing in bounties, they'll work harder. Need some info? This is a little high. I'll give you 50. Work for Davik. Okay. Need some information. Try again. There. There you go. Okay, now don't... Okay, blah, blah, blah. Now that you paid the fee, you can come back and ask questions. Tell me about the pods. You wouldn't. You shouldn't bother with them. When they crashed, the Black Volcar gang got there first and cleaned them out. If there was anything valuable inside those crash pods, it's inside the Volcar base now. I need to get in the Volcar base. Why? You need to get shot full of blaster holes? Only the Volkers get into the Volcar base, unless maybe the Hidden Backs can help you out. You got a problem with the Volkars? You go see Gadden Thack. He's the leader of the Hidden Backs, a rival gang. He's a smart man. Maybe he can help you. Tell me about the Lower City Gangs. Two main gangs, Black Volkers and the Bex. Used to be the Bex ran things, but the Volkers have a new leader. Brezhik wants to take over for himself. The Volkers are out of control now. They've, seated, they've sealed their base, and they're shooting people in the street. Sometimes they don't even pay Davik the money they owe him. Things are much better with Gadden and the Bex in charge. Gadden's a smart man. He knows how to keep peace. Maybe if the Bex win the war, win the gang war, things will go back to normal. Something else. Um, some way I can get off this planet. Sith Quarantine has grounded all the vehicles. Everyone wants to leave, but it's just not possible. Davik has the fastest ship in the sector, but even he can't get off the planet. The Sith fleet is orbiting Terrace, and they use auto-targeting cannons. If the ship takes off, these cannons will dis disintegrate instantly. Unless it disintegrate it instantly, unless it's broad had broadcast the launch code. Unless it had broadcast the launch codes. What codes? Sith use launch codes when they leave the planet. If you transmit them from your ship, the auto-targeting cannons won't fire at you. Only people with the codes can leave Terrace. But the Sith keep the codes locked up safe in the military base. Nobody gets in there, too dangerous. And even if someone did get the codes, where are they going to get a ship? No, there's no way to get off Terrace. You'd need a ship. The launch codes and even the Sith fighters would chase you down. We're all stuck here, even Davik. Okay, uh, how about... That's about it, right? We're done here. Thank you. Good. So we got 350. I knew that it would cost about 350. Good, good, good. So I think that's it. I think we're pretty much done here. 
So we're gonna leave and we gotta go down. We can actually go to the Hidden Becks and talk about getting into the Undercity. Alright ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor, hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't yet, be sure to like and follow my pages on social media. Facebook.com slash DanQ8000 for live streams and other content. Twitter, DanQ8000. Instagram, DanQ8000. And Snapchat, DanQ8000. If you want to get yourself a shirt or hoodie, there's a link to my shop in the description below. And if you want to save 10% off your next DX race or link in the description, be sure to use the promo code DanQ8000 at checkout. Alright guys, thank you so much again. Take it easy. Have a wonderful day. I'll be seeing you soon for more content, but until then... Let's hand things over to Knox Hill. Have a good one, guys. Yeah. May the force be with you until.